Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and I'm here once again with the Line 6 Pod Go. This time I'm here with, um, oh, why am I turning up the output there? That's my problem. You ever, like, figure out your problem? Like, like oh, I should have I should have known that was what was happening. And I just had one of those moments. So, um... I have the pod go, and we're going to go through the delay sounds today, and if you have not already, um, like, listened to any of our videos, I'm sorry if it's bouncy, I was trying to multitask and that was a bad idea, if you haven't already watched our video that goes through the basics of making a patch, um, I suggest starting with that, and then going into the other content. Uh, I'm not, I'm going to try to keep this relatively short because I have, a, I need to film a bunch of these today. Um, but I'm going to roll through the delay settings on this pedal and I do have it running to stereo as far as I can tell. It looks like it's doing stereo stuff. Do you hear that? Um, get a, a, a quick refresher on some of the settings. So um, it's an, it's delay. I have that kind of lit up. Each of these knobs controls one of these parameters and I would page over. I don't know if you can see that to get to the other one. So the only thing on page two of that is trail. So I'm going to ignore it. But I'm going to crank the mix. And this is just a simple delay. It seems that most of their delays... Let me pull up the little manual here. Um, it seems like most of their delays are kind of line six originals. So that's what the simple delay is. You can tap. There's a tap down here. And that taps into the tempo. professional two series jazz master but that's our first delay sound then let's just keep it going Doop. a modulated chorus echo i'm gonna increase the feedback and oh not well i guess i increase the high cut That's a cool thing, that's a cool feature to have, I think. That joke, that... Okay, so then we have level, scale, modulation mode, so right now it says chorus. You can hear that. The modulation off. Or you can use vibra vibrato. I like chorus. This is a pretty nice little one. Increase the speed of that chorus. I love chorus on delay pedals. And then on page three, we have the spread and the trails. Let's just go to the next setting. Sorry, this is a little bit bouncy. I did my best. So it's a, this next one's a dual delay. It is an original. And you can set the right time and the left time separately. Let's crank that feedback on one side. If this is recording and uploading properly and you're using headphones, ostensibly you'd be able to hear um, stereo spread. I can't because I have something wrong in my setup. I am monitoring through my Focusrite 4i4. 
and uh, it is just summing everything to mono for some reason today. And I don't really know why. And I'm not going to mess with it too much. Um, but if you know why, please tell me. All right. Next uh, page, we have right mix, high cut, low cut, speed, depth, spread, and you can turn trails on or off. I'm gonna start going through these a little bit more quickly now because we've kind of looked at the gist. But as you can see, these delays are a lot more complex than even the modulation ones I was looking at before. And definitely more complex than some of the, the amp and cab sounds. Like this one has one, two, three, four, five pages of things you can um, control. So that that does not, that's not gonna help with your option paralysis. <laughs> delay is that it only fills in the space between when you're not playing so it won't get in the way of anything that you are playing so if you're playing a lot of really fast stuff it wasn't really getting in the way while I was that was not a very good example but in a reverse delay Especially good if you don't want to play a lot of notes. So that duck delay was actually based on the TC Electronics uh, 2290. This is that reverse delay is another original to line six. Transistor tape based on the Ma Ma Maestro Echoplex EP3. <laughs> Harmony Delay is a Line 6 original. Bucket Brigade 
based on the boss DM2. Adriatic Delay, also based on the DM2 with the Adrian Mod. called the elephant man it's based on the um, deluxe memory man <laughs> is a line six original. Legacy, line six original. Nice. Dynamic, based on the TC Electronics 2290. There's some ducking in there. Delay stereo, simply put, line six original. I have no idea why that was so low. I bet we can control the modulation type too. No, wow. It just says speed, depth. Okay, I'm a little surprised by that. A reverse delay. Default 100% sweat mix there. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, there's no short in this. So this is a low res delay. Tube Echo, 
um, this is based on the Maestro Echoplex EP1. <laughs> these new picks I bought them from Stringjoy. They're purple. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like those. Sweep Echo. That's a Line 6 original. Oh, okay. I hear it. I get it. I get it. to like filter sweeps on echoes but I really do like that <laughs> platter based on the Vincent Echo Rec. like a low mix which is fine but I prefer a higher mix so that you can hear just hear the effect a little bit more and know that you can tile it back with modulation based on the EHX Deluxe Memory Man. Where the mix comes in so low. Last but not least, the multi head based on the Roland RE101 Space Echo. <laughs> Can you please listen to some more of these? Oh. Hmm. Right, well. 
wow this, this is this one has a lot because i've never actually played with this um with um one of these pedals which it is bass so i don't really know a lot about it tape head. Nice. Dude. There, that's a lot of fun stuff, man. Like there are a lot, a lot of cool delay modes in this pedal. If, um, I hope the stereo worked. I really do. Um, but just so you know, Anything you put after the amps can run in stereo, but if you put like a modulation, like a co stereo chorus before the dirt, it's not going to be in stereo. So that's a downside um, of like, if you want to use this in stereo and you want to like really play with the placements of things. But I think it's a really, really cool, like a lot of really good sounds in it and a lot to experiment with, figure out what you like, different things for different songs. I mean, it's cool. It's really cool to be able to do that. I, you know, I try when I play live to have like my set of sounds and then keep kind of going to the well for that. But to have something where I'm like, this song would really benefit from like that filter sweep echo, that would be cool. Um, that's really, really neat to have. Like, yeah, it's, it's cool. So, um, please stay tuned for uh, future videos. I'm at least going to do one on the reverb settings and one on the uh, like pitch modulation settings. Um, and please go back and watch our other videos, the beginner's first impressions, building your first patch, the amp and cab sounds, and the modulation. So please like, comment, subscribe below. If you're interested in buying one of these, please use our Reverb affiliate link in the video description. Same with the DistroKid affiliate link in the video description. But until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for understanding. My name is Emily, goodbye.